In this video, we're going to fly something a little more powerful than a Cessna Skyhawk, and it just so happens to be my all-time favorite twin-engine aircraft, the Beechcraft King Air 200. My name is Josh Flowers. My dad got me into flying, and I've been making videos ever since I was a kid. I combine the two into a YouTube channel where I share my experiences as an aviator, both good and bad. We're all learning with each day we live, and it's important for pilots to stay humble and always learn while enjoying their adventures along the way. And that's what this channel aims to show. This is Mr. Aviation 101. Justin here is a professional pilot who flies multiple types of airplanes in his career. He knows I'm always looking for new experiences, and he offered me the opportunity to fly with him on Part 91 flights in a King Air 200. Given the fact that this flight was operated under Part 91, and this is a single pilot aircraft, meaning a second pilot is technically not required, that means I'm technically a passenger, but I've been awarded the responsibility of reading the checklist and operating the radios. I always preach about how important crew resource management is, or in other words, the act of utilizing other members of your crew to help safely complete a task. Flying with Justin in the King Air has only further solidified the importance of that concept to me. I believe one of the best ways to learn is by observing others, and Justin, with his loads of experience, sets the professionalism bar high while keeping a very likable personality in the cockpit, which makes him a fantastic role model for any pilot. We begin this video at Drake Field in Fayetteville, Arkansas, where we're getting ready to depart IFR to Angel Fire, New Mexico. I've already received our IFR clearance before we climbed into the airplane via my handheld radio, and we've just fired up the turbine engines. We were assigned the Razorback 1 departure procedure out of Drake Field, so I've pulled up the procedure on ForeFlight on my iPad, and we're briefing the departure before we call ground control to begin taxiing to the runway. Okay, before we get moving here, we'll look at the Razorback 1. Take off runway 16, climbing right turn to 180 with Vents. Okay, we'll put 180 in there. Expect radar vectors to final, uh, or filed at sign at route, climb and maintain 5,000 feet. Or lower, assigned altitude, expect clearance filed, altitude, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then lost comms procedures. That would be not established two minutes after departure, climb, maintain 5,000. Right there, final oversee, direct, uh, bar, then proceed on course. All right, good. What's the squawk code? Squawk 1611. All right, we're ready. All right, we're up on ground, and let me pull up the uh, airport diagram. Drake ground, King Air 151 Romeo Romeo at the FBO, ready to taxi IFR. King Air 151 Romeo Romeo, Drake ground, runway 16 taxi via Bravo, change to the tower frequency. 16 via Bravo, going to tower, 151 Romeo Romeo. And uh, 15 Romeo, 151 Romeo Romeo, you said you had uh, November? Yes sir, sorry, we got November 151 Romeo Romeo. Okay, roger that. Alright, we can do the taxi right. out checklist. Taxi checklist, cabin temps and fans. They're set. Ice vanes extended. They're extended. Auto feather. Arm. Manual feather. Check. Exterior lights. On. Electric trim. Uh, checked and set. Light controls. They are free and correct. Altimeters. 3020 set, cross check. 3020. Light instruments. They are checked. Heading in altitude pre-select. I got 180 and 5000. All right, flight director. Is set. Vacuum into Matic. We're good over here. Cabin sign, fasten seat belt. It's on. Uh, GNS 400 and radios. They are set. What's departure frequency? Departure frequency is 126.6. .6. We got it in. Got it. Number two. Load meters and inverter. Uh, they're checked. Enunciator push to test. Checked. Laps. King Air 151, Romeo, Romeo, Drake Tower, runway 16, wind calm, you are clear for takeoff. And clear for takeoff, runway 16, 151, Romeo, Romeo. Apps are checked and set. Alright, cabin pressure switch. Uh, it's press. Cabin pressure controller. Set. Rudder boost. Oh, wait, hold on. That's it. Rudder boost is on. Break, break de ice. Not required. Engine instruments. Air checked. Lead air. On. Crew briefing. Uh, no more takeoff, razor back. Departure, we've already gone over emergency procedures. Okay, we're going to do the takeoff checklist, auto ignition. Arm. Engine, any ice. Headed. Lights. On. Five. On. Transponder. On. Props. Set. Flaps. 
Uh, Terry Light. Oscar Strong 8 is at number 301. Enunciator panel. Here, takeoff time. 1852. And just to confirm, it was a right turn to 180. Climbing right turn to 180 then. All right. Takeoff checklist complete. Takeoff power set, airspeed's live. 80 cross check, 80. You want rotate. How's it rate? Gear up. Lights off. Y'all damn bar. King Air 151 Romeo Romeo. Contact raise back departure 126.6. We'll touch the half safe flight. 266, you have a good day, sir. 151 Romeo Romeo. Top two. Razorback departure, King Air 151, Romeo, Romeo just departed uh, runway 016, climbing through 2200. King Air 151, Romeo, Romeo, Razorback departure, radar contact, climb maintain 15,000, turn right on course. Right on course, up to 15,000, 151, Romeo, Romeo. 5,000 set, right. Bonanza 8243, Delta Razorback. 5,000 on course. Time checklist complete. Thank you. Good man, looking real good. Indeed. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely have a headwind going out here. Yeah. I think it was more of trying to find the best altitude with the least yeah. amount of headwind. I find we're at least painful. Yeah, I go down here to the weather page for this is the wind at 210. Not too bad. It's mainly a crosswind the whole way, luckily. I'm just up a little bit further north. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm zoomed out quite a bit. That's that's pretty far. <laughs> that's South Dakota. Oh yeah, that's. Uh... <laughs> That 226 speed break, stay deer, and maintain 3,000 airports, 12 o'clock, 20 miles. All right, Trey, J deer, 3,000, 226. Raise back bridge, guys, 5314, 14 for 10,000, Juliet, good afternoon. That was 5314, raise back approach. Good afternoon. Turn right direct. Front toad, and maintain 6,000. I actually think the shot right there is way better than it would have been up here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, much better Number angle. one, Romeo, Romeo, contact, Memphis Center, 126.1, one, good day. 126.1, one, 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 Romeo, Romeo, good day. Memphis Center, King Air, 151, one, Romeo, Romeo, climbing through 10,000 for 15,000. 151, one, Romeo, Romeo, climbing, same hold, 230. Flight level 230, 151, Romeo, Romeo. All right, up to flight two, level 230. 230 set. Zero, all right. The torch dying off, so increased power. Still have plenty of room on the ITTs, so.
All right, 10,000 foot checklist lights. They are, uh, we got the beacon and the strobe on. All right, anti-ice. Anti-ice is on. Having pressure, monitor. They are pressurizing. Yep, it's looking good. Half bank. Half bank will come on uh, above 180. All right, engine instruments check. They are all green Southern and parallel. Southern one Golf Lima. The Southern Southern foot checklist complete. 135.4. Once we go through 20 to 21,000 feet and the torque dies off, I like to go ahead and bring it back, the props back to 1800 RPM. Makes it quieter and it brings up your torque. So yeah. it doesn't give you any more power necessarily, but it just makes it quieter. Yeah. These five bladed props are really quiet. And isn't it something like with the curvature of them or the, the way they kind of sweep? away from their relative direction and like helps with the noise or something. Right. I feel mean, like I saw something about that at Oshkosh. Or when these props were released. Blue streak, uh, they have some of those five-bladed props that are like that thick. I've <laughs> seen some of those on like the TBMs and looks like, I don't know anything about them. November but 151 Romeo Romeo contact Kansas City Center 1339 or 2. One three three point at nine or two for follow one five one Romeo Romeo good day. November four two five Zulu DC Center KC Center keying air one five one Romeo Romeo passing uh, flight level two zero zero. King air one five one Romeo Romeo Kansas Center verify signed out to. Uh, we are assigned flight level 230, 151 Romeo Romeo. Okay, you're 151 Romeo Romeo, climb and maintain flight level 280. Climb and maintain flight level 280, 151 Romeo Romeo. 280, set. Okay, you're 1 Romeo Romeo, did it have any snow out there at Angel Fire yet? Uh, last Monday, um, they had 4 inches. Okay, do you know when the uh, ski slopes open, etc.? I don't. Um, this is the first winter, I'm going to be flying there quite a bit, and I'm uh, not sure. Okay. Kansas City Center, good afternoon. Citation 8270 series with the 197 climb to 230. We're currently on a what's the other one? It starts snowing line. a lot up there. Citation 8270 Julius here, Kansas City Center, higher about two minutes. Figured it already would have been. Yeah. Yeah, so they got they got four and inches. It's not possible. I'd like to go put her request in for Rick Sherland if we could play. And, uh, uh, but they uh, said it was burnt off by, it, uh, by one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. It gets really cold uh, down there at night. But, I mean, the you know, whenever you get up there, Ranger. altitude and, and, and it's real dry air, there. temperature changes so much. Right. It'll get down to 17 degrees at night, and then it'll get up to the mid to high 50s during the day. Yeah, a little melt snow real quick. Hour and 47 minutes. Yeah, we're kind of in the soup here. But your cameras last that long? Yeah, these are five-hour batteries. Oh, nice. I think this one lasts about four hours. There's 1,700. Yeah, they I used to only be able to last like an hour and a half, and I got fed up with it and spent like $500 on 10 five-hour batteries. Oh, my gosh. Just bought a ton of them, so I wouldn't have to worry about power anymore. And each one can hold like 13 hours of footage. Oh, man. That's crazy. I got tired of running out. <laughs> like, yeah. I can only... The best batteries and the best SD cards. Right, yeah. Pretty much the best of the best all around. Because I got tired of like flying to Lano. I record the trip there, but I want to record the trip back too. Right. And I can't because all the batteries died and the cards filled up. Not anymore. Not anymore. I believe this thing has over 7,000 hours on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, I was looking at the hops meter down here earlier. I was like, is that right? Yeah. This airplane's been really well kept. But what year did you say it was? Uh, 91. 91. Yep. Shoot, it's had virtually everything changed out in the last uh, five years. Paint, paint, tail number, props, engines, avionics, interior. Uh, interior lighting, exterior lighting, 
and works. And basically the metal is about it that's been here for 7,000 hours. Yeah. Brand new boots. Oh, yeah. Brand new boots. It's got the raised back upgrades, the raised back leading edges, and the uh, engine intake. They're all still showing almost full battery. And that's crazy. Although I can't see these three. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's. It's an aftermarket company that I think it's Wasabi Power that makes yeah. all, all the batteries that I use. They didn't pay me to say that. I was about to say, are you advertising for them <laughs> they right now? They didn't pay me to say that. They had just released the battery for this one, which is the new GoPro, and they, they sent me that one for free. Because I told them, I said, you know, what do y'all have as far as extended batteries for the new one? Because they have them for these old ones. But that one, I needed something. So they're like, well, here, we just made this one, and it's still kind of being tried. So here, give it a try. How's that new GoPro? Yeah, the Hero 5. It's a 5? It's a 5. I thought the 5s came out. Oh, is there a 6 now? Ago. Oh, no. Maybe I had a 4. Yeah, I got a 4, I guess. I think the 4s look like these. 4 black. Yeah, it looks like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are 3s. All of these are 3s. I, I bought one for like 500 bucks, like a year and a half ago or something. Okay, yeah. Or two years ago. That just can't, yeah, it just come out. I guess it was a 4 black. Yeah, this is the Hero 5 black. And uh, the reason I wanted a Hero 5 is because it does 4K. So all of these are 1080p, this is 4K. So that way, if you're like doing something over here on the PFD and I want to zoom into it, I can. And it still looks like HD. So, Derby 81, contact D, Denver Center 133. Like if I want to zoom into the map or like anything on the panel, I can right, zoom in with that camera while I'm editing. Makes it much, much nicer. Sir, good afternoon, Southwest 402, 340. South 402, Kansas City Center. South 1599, contact Kansas City Center 133.2. 1332, Southwest 1599 today. Yep. And those onions are freaking spicy. They're potent. I, I can, can smell them. <laughs> yeah, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Number 151, Romeo, Romeo, contact Albuquerque Center 127.85. 127.85151 Romeo Romeo Good evening. Yeah. Good afternoon, Albuquerque Center, King Air 151 Romeo Romeo level 280. King Air 151 Romeo Romeo Albuquerque Center. Back in the soup. Yep. November 9, Receiver Victor Radar, contact 10 miles southeast of Moore County Airport, 32 Bravo Whiskey Delta Airport, as filed. Climb maintain flight level 250 and your best rate right through flight level 180 for traffic. Okay, uh, position checks uh, cleared to Brownwood, as filed 250, best rate right through 180, 9 Sierra Victor. November 774 Golf Whiskey, contact Albuquerque Center on 132.8. 32.8, 774 Golf Whiskey, good day. Did you want to go direct Gekti soon, or did you want to kind of see what the winds are going to do? No, we'll, we'll go ahead and do the approach. Okay. Winds are only 8 to 9, knot, eight, nine knots.
and they shipped it over to 280, so it's pretty much direct crosswind. You want me to go ahead and request that? Uh, yeah. They'll give it to us. They'll probably wait, tell us to wait for the next frequency, but I'll see what he says. Albuquerque Center, King Air 151, Romeo, Romeo, request. Go ahead. 151 Romeo, Romeo, requesting a direct Gecti, which is the initial approach fix for the RNAV 17 to Angel Fire. Can you spell that for me? What is this? Yes, sir, that's Golf Echo Kilo Tango Echo. November 151 Romeo, Romeo, clear, direct to Gecti, direct to Angel Fire, descend and maintain flight level 180. Descend and maintain flight level 180, direct Gecti, direct Angel Fire, 151 Romeo, open. And can we get pilot's discretion down to 180? In November 1 Romeo, Romeo, affirmative, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain flight level 180. Pilot's discretion 180, dot, um, King Air, 151 Romeo, <laughs> <laughs> <com>. <laughs> Alright. Number one, Romeo, Romeo, are you uh, expecting the RNAV GPS uh, runway 17? Hey, Purple. One, Romeo, Romeo, Roger. Romeo, Romeo, descend pilot, discretion, maintain 15,000, the return altimeter, 3007. 3007 PD down to 15,000, 151 Romeo, Romeo. King Air 151 Romeo, Romeo, vacating 280. 151 Romeo, Romeo, Roger. I have a four lane uh, descent checklist. Alright. Having pressure. Is set. Having sign. On. Lights. On. B ref. 96. Yeah. Anti ice. On. Uh, approach. Brief. We're doing the RNAV 17, direct Gecti now. We'll probably cancel IFR through 180. Alright. Winds, winds are out of the west, 10 knots. Plan on landing 17. Albuquerque Center, Mooney 24 Lima is uh, through 10.2 and we'll cancel IFR at this time. We have Raton in sight. Niner two, Niner one two four Lima, Roger. No traps observed between you and the Raton. Uh, Insulation of IFR is received. Radar service terminated. Squad via far frequency changes. Roger that two four Lima. We'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Yeah. One Romeo Romeo cross deck C at or above one five thousand cleared on at GPS runway one seven approach to Angel Fire. Okay, cross deck D at or above one five thousand cleared on at one seven in Angel Fire one five one Romeo Romeo. Albuquerque Center King here one five one Romeo Romeo. I'd like to go ahead and cancel IFR. 151 Romeo Romeo, no traffic observed between you and Angel Fire. Uh, cancellation via fire speed, radar service terminated, squad via fire, frequency change approved. Squad via fire, frequency change approved, King Air 151 Romeo Romeo, good day. Alright, All right, we are via fire. And switching to COM 1. Thousand temperature one seven Celsius two point minus six altimeter three zero one mark density altitude one zero thousand two hundred zero full stop for top tone Angel Fire Airport automated weather observation two zero five three Zulu approach checklist two all right altimeter. Uh, 3019 are set, cross check. 3019 are auto feather. Auto feathers are? Anti ice. On. Seat belts. Looks good. Alright, approach checklist complete. 
Oh, wait for the gear for the before landing checklist. Weather observation 2053. Zulu, weather, wind 270 at 13. Visibility 10. Clear below 12,000. Temperature 17 Celsius. Dew point minus 6 altimeter 3019er. Remark. Density altitude 10,200. All right, wind 270 at 13, almost right down the right uh, direct crosswind. Yeah. Right down the perpendicular? Right down the perpendicular, that's what I was trying to say. Alright, on COM 1, transmitting. Angel Flyer traffic, King Air 151, Romeo Romeo, approximately 20 miles to the north of the field. We're at 12700, gonna be a straight in runway 17, full stop, Angel Flyer. Angel Fire Traffic King Air 151, Romeo Romeo, approximately 15 miles to the north of the field, inbound for a full stop runway at 17, full stop Angel Fire. Angel Fire Traffic, King Air 151, Romeo, Romeo, about uh, 8 miles to the north of the field, inbound, full stop, runway 17, Angel Fire. Well, I have about a 7.5 mile final here, so waiting on about 4 to 5 miles for the gear. Sounds good. Before landing checklist, landing gear. Down three green, no red. Heights. On. Radar. Off. Anti-ice. On and extended. Pressurization. Pressurization. Uh, it's looking good. Before landing checklist complete. Fire traffic, King Air 151, Romeo Romeo, two mile final, runway 17, full stop, Asian Fire. Waiting on the all down. Down, three green, clear to land. No traffic. Just got a crosswind. 500. Runway looks clean. No damn off.
to like a textbook crosswind landing. Engine anti-ice. Uh, engine anti-ice is off. Auto ignition. Or extended, I mean. Auto ignition's off. Auto feather. Off. O other anti-ice. Uh, it's all off. Lights. Off. Laps. Sure up. Transponder. Off. Radar. Off. Elevator trim. Uh, is reset. Lead air valves. Off. Pressurization differential. Off. Or zero. Cabin lights. Uh, off. After landing check was complete. Angel Fire Traffic King Air 151 Romeo Romeo clear at runway at 17 Angel Fire. To Justin, this is just another day in the office, but to me, it's a way different experience than what I'm accustomed to, from listening to twin turbine engines instead of a single piston engine, looking at a glass panel instead of analog gauges, accepting a climb instruction into the flight levels, and coming over the runway threshold about 40 knots faster than what I'm used to. I could have edited this video down further to be shorter, but I didn't feel it was necessary. I learned a ton on this flight, and there were so many things that I could narrow in on and talk about for minutes at a time, but this time around, I wanted to let you experience this flight as we did, and hopefully I was successful with that. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay current, and stay proficient. We'll see you next time.